Global warming, or climate change, is a term that has been coined to describe the effects of an increase in global temperatures due to greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gases are gases like carbon dioxide and methane which trap heat inside the atmosphere and keep it from escaping into space. This causes the Earth to warm up. And as the planet warms up, glaciers melt and oceans rise, resulting in rising sea levels. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, was formed in 1988 by the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP and the World Meteorological Organization WMO. They have since produced many reports on global warming, the most recent being the fourth assessment report released in 2007. The IPCC is made up of thousands of scientists who study global warming and its effects. The main source of greenhouse gases is the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas. These are all non-renewable energy sources. As more people use these types of fuel, there's a greater demand for them. Because they take so long to produce, they also cause air pollution. When they are burned, the gases released into the atmosphere cause the temperature to rise. If this continues, the ice caps will melt, causing rising sea levels. There are several other factors which contribute to global warming. For instance, deforestation contributes to the release of greenhouse gases, and the burning of forests releases even more. Also, the release of pollutants from industry and agriculture, as well as urban sprawl, are all contributing factors. Global warming, do you believe that it will happen? I have been watching the news and listening to the radio about global warming, and I have heard all the arguments that it will not happen. I'm not sure what is going on in the world, but I am certain that we are going to be hearing more about it. It has been said it's going to be hit harder than any other country because of our reliance on oil. The argument is that if we do not cut back on our consumption, then the world will suffer as well. There are a lot of people who are not ready to give up their gas guzzlers just yet. The thing that they do not seem to understand is that we are not just using gas to run our cars, we are using it to heat our homes, cook our food, and power our appliances. We are using it to travel from one place to another. We are also using it to provide us with electricity for our computers and for our televisions. We are using it to power our cell phones and even our iPods. The list goes on and on. If we stop using it, then how are we going to be able to keep our lights on? How are we going to be able to get our food? What are we going to do when we run out of gas? How are we going to heat our homes without it? If we use less of it, then maybe we can save some money. Maybe we can buy less of it so we can afford to pay the higher prices that are going to come with it. Maybe we can build some wind turbines and make our own electricity. Maybe we can build solar panels and put them on our roofs. Maybe we can start making hydrogen fuel cells so that we can burn water instead of gasoline. Maybe we can make our own hydrogen fuel cells. Maybe we can build our own wind turbines. Maybe we can learn how to live off the land. I think that we need to stop worrying about the environment and start thinking about how we are going to be able to survive. The world has been getting hotter and hotter for decades now. Climate scientists have been predicting that this trend will continue into the future, and they are right. We are already seeing more heat waves, droughts, wildfires, and floods. This is all part of global warming. The Earth is getting warmer because of the greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere. There are two main greenhouse gases that are causing the Earth to heat up carbon dioxide and methane. Carbon dioxide is a natural gas that is released into the atmosphere by plants and animals. It is also produced when coal is burned. Carbon dioxide is not harmful in itself, but it does trap heat in the atmosphere. This means that the Earth gets hotter. Methane is a gas that is produced by bacteria. When you burp, you are releasing methane. Methane is also produced when cattle, sheep, and other livestock eat grass. It is also produced when landfills and sewage systems leak. This methane then mixes with the air and is released into the atmosphere. Methane is more powerful than carbon dioxide at trapping heat. It is estimated that there is more methane in the atmosphere than there is carbon dioxide. What happens when there is more greenhouse gases? When there is more carbon dioxide or methane in the atmosphere, it traps heat. This causes the temperature of the planet to rise. This makes the weather warmer and drier. Plants can't grow as well, and animals can survive in these conditions. This causes people to suffer from food shortages and starvation. People are forced to move out of areas where they live because they are no longer able to grow crops. How can we stop global warming? 
In order to stop global warming, we need to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and develop alternative energy sources. We also need to reduce the amount of pollution that we release into the atmosphere. To do this, we need to reduce the number of cars on the road and encourage more public transportation. We can also use more efficient appliances and make changes to our homes and buildings to reduce heating and cooling costs. We can also use energy-efficient lighting. There are many ways that we can help save the environment. But we also need to understand that global warming is happening, and it is only going to get worse if we don't act soon. There are a few things that we can do to stop global warming. One thing that we can do is to reduce the amount of sea oil and methane that we produce. We can do this by switching from using fossil fuels to using renewable energy sources like solar power and wind power. We can also use less meat and dairy products in our diets. This reduces the amount of methane that we release into the atmosphere. We can also switch to using public transportation instead of driving everywhere. This reduces the amount of emissions that we produce. Global warming is caused by the greenhouse gases that we put into the atmosphere. If we can reduce the amount of these gases that we produce, then we can slow down global warming. Thank you for watching DCD Craze Channel.